Today we are going to talk more with additional detail about all of the new changes that Princess announced on Thursday to charges that they are going to be adding for everyone on board the ship and what's included in the Plus and Premier package. I've also got an update from our life for you last night and a really important discussion that I am looking forward to having with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today is Saturday, it's July 29th of 2023. And let's go ahead and start off. I would love to invite you to please subscribe to our channel. It helps us out and we actually need to have you all with us so that we can have the very best group here possible. If you appreciate my updates, would you also please give this video a thumbs up? I really look forward to seeing you all here and hearing from you in the comments. So thank you very much. Now, really quickly, the update that I have from our live last night, Gordon and I are still trying to get back on United States time from the time that we spent in Europe. So last night, I was really tired, as was he, during our live. We really thoroughly enjoyed it, but I wasn't as quick about a few things as I should have been. One of the things was someone was asking about Carnival bringing back well, anyone, a midnight buffet on a ship. One of our Let's Go family members was really kind and said that Carnival had brought back the midnight buffet on July 17th. And as I thought about that later, I was like, oh, it's not the midnight buffet that we think of. Carnival is just adding some additional menu items to what is going to be available at midnight on their cruise ships. So historically, there has been pizza available, and their ice cream and they are adding a few things i remember i told you about this in a video clear back when carnival announced it so if you've been with me you know about this but um some of the things that i recall that they're adding are like some chicken fingers um some chicken tenders is a better term for that um a kind of salad some chicken noodle soup some things like that just to give people more options if they're up late and they're a little bit hungry they did not say where these um, options were going to be located on the ship so i'll look forward to hearing that from all of you and I get to see for myself when I get to go on the carnival ce carnival celebration at the beginning of November so it's just going to be kind of fun to see how everything works on carnival I am really excited I, it, from what I have heard it sounds like they have got things going on in their dining and the way they manage it that I think would help all of the cruise lines so I'm really excited to try that out now what we need to talk about today I want to give you a little bit more up, um, details to do with this update with princess so first of all, it is going to roll out, as I've mentioned before, on different dates on different ships. So I want to give you that schedule so that if you have got a cruise booked in the next little bit, you will know what to expect. So the um, changes go into effect on the Sapphire Princess on August 2nd. And then on um, the Enchanted Princess, the Regal Princess, and the Royal Princess, they are going to go into effect there on August 12th. The Discovery Princess on August 13th, the Caribbean Princess and the Diamond Princess on August 14th, the Ruby Princess and the Crown Princess on um, August 15th, then we've got the Sky Princess, the Grand Princess, and the Majestic Princess on August 19th of 2023, and then the Emerald Princess August 21st, the Island Princess August 25th, and the Coral Princess not until September 20th. You might recall that the Coral Princess is sailing a world cruise right now, and so I know that they're waiting until the end so that they can um, not change it in the middle for anyone. Also, as I looked up these different dates for these cruises, uh, for these different ships, they are not changing it in the middle of a cruise for someone. So they, nobody is going to wake up one day on the ship and start having um, any changes that they didn't have for the rest of their cruise. Okay, that's really important to know. In addition um, to those dates, I wanted to tell you really quickly, go through a more inclusive list of what is included dining on the cruise ships. That is really important. A lot of us, and me included, I like to know what is included before I go, and then I can make my choices from there. So of course, the main dining room is always complimentary. We've got, on Princess, we've got the Horizon Court and the World Fresh Marketplace. Those are the two buffet, the names of the two kinds of buffets. Um, only one per ship, but they're named different things on different ships. That's also included the sliced pizza. Now that's the pizza that's up on the Lido deck close to the pool there. The Salty Dog Cafe, the Salty Dog Grill, 
the grill and the trident grill that's all of the names that they have on the different ships for the grill that is located there on the Lido right by the pool on the island princess it was up one deck um, just to be able to get to that but it has really good food every time I go on a cruise I always really like the food there at the grill and this time I had um, the pulled pork sandwich a couple of times. It was absolutely delicious. Gordon usually gets a hamburger. He said it was really good as well. And I do like their french fries. Um, they've also got the International Cafe, the Bakery, the Bistro, the Pastry Shop, the Chopsticks Noodle Bar. That's on the Majestic Princess. And it's actually really good. I wasn't sure what to expect. It is in the location there where um, the pizza place would normally be, but that ship was designed and first deployed over in Asia. It was going to hit the China market, and that didn't turn out the way that they were expecting, but they've kept that chopsticks noodle bar, and it's actually delicious. And so if you want pizza on that ship, it's Alfredo's. That's the only way you're going to get it. And then the breakfast, um, the, if you are ordering breakfast, if you have been on Princess, you know, if you're brand new to Princess, they have this card. It's made out of like card stock. It's about this big. Your room steward will leave them for you every day. And you just, there's a whole list of the things that you can order for breakfast. I usually write on hot chocolate. So if there's something else you really want, you can write it on and see if they bring it. They always bring hot chocolate when I ask. Um, but you hook it on your door the night before, like by midnight-ish. And then they'll pick it up and you select as you're filling it out the time frame in the morning that you want them to deliver your food. And and they'll bring it and that is going to stay free so if you enjoy that on excursion mornings like we do or you want your coffee delivered every day whatever it is that is still included no charge so I thought that was wonderful then really quickly the things that are going to be that casual dining that is going to cost $14.99 every time you eat there for their three course meal if you want more than those three courses it will be a la carte and you'll pay extra for it but um unless you get the plus package and you'll get two per sailing or the premier package and you will get unlimited of that. O'Malley's, the Ocean Terrace, Vines, Alfredo's Pizzeria, Gigi's Pizzeria, Kai Sushi, the Planks Barbecue, Steamers, and the Salty Dog Gastro Pub. I think the Salty Dog Gastro Pub, I think that's going away on a lot of the ships that have it. But, um, yeah, let me know what you see on the ship that you're on, would ya? And then as far as the specialty dining, we are used to having that. I thought I would zip through it really fast so that you know what the cover charge is. So Sabatini's is $35 per person. And by the way, if you're sailing with children 12 and under, they pay half that much, okay? Um, the Crown Grill, the Sterling Steakhouse, the Catch by Rudy, Harmony, Bistro Sur La Mer and the Bayou Cafe, those are all $39 each. The Crab Shack, which is Alaska only, is $29.99 a person. And then after that, um, we get to the experiential dining and those have their own costs and they were not listed. So in doing that, um, with the information that Princess put out for travel advisors, they did include menus. So I thought it would be kind of fun. And so Gordon's going to show you the menu for Alfredo's. They still, it looks like it's just the same as the last time we got to eat at Alfredo's. The last time I got to eat at Alfredo's was on the Discovery Princess on the Love Boat Cruise, which was such a fun cruise. And um, it sounds like Princess is going to do more themed cruises, which I think is awesome. So anyway, um, thought you would like to take a look at that. They still have all their kinds of their pizza as well as that eggplant dish that I love so much they have an eggplant dish that has eggplant and it's stuffed with um, pasta it's absolutely delicious and they also still have their veal parmesan um, and it sounds like the um, desserts are staying with the tiramisu and that apple torte. so I hope that you find that helpful in addition just a couple of notes that I thought might be helpful so sometimes people want additional things from housekeeping there are several things that you can ask for for free when you are on board a ship from housekeeping and I'll do that in a separate video but I think it's really important to note that if you decide to do it with the app you're going to have to activate your app if you don't have to ha if you don't have a package you're going to have to pay that $14.99 app in order to activate fee in order to activate your app to order housekeeping items through the app but I want to tell you you can also just ask your room steward for it and they will get it for you. So if you didn't want to have to activate your app, you still don't have to. Just ask your room steward for what you want. That's how we've always done it anyway and it will still work just fine. Um, if you, this is really important, I keep getting more and more emails about this and questions. If you booked your cruise and bought a 
Plus or Premier Package before December 14th of 2022. If you want to have all of these new upgrades, you have to upgrade your package. So the Plus Package used to be $50 per person per day and the Plus and the Premier Package was $75. It is now $60 for the Plus and $80 for the Premier. So think of the things that you want to enjoy while you're on your cruise. And if you want to enjoy the, um, like if you've got that Plus Package and you want your medallion shipped to you and you want your app activated automatically and you want those casualty casual tinings I always want to call them casualty um, if you want those two of those during your trip then update your um, your package and the same with Premier so um, you can do that in the cruise personalizer if you've got a travel advisor they can do it for you if you don't know um, if you don't have a travel advisor and you don't know how to do it in the cruise personalizer just call princess and do it before you go that way you can order your app um, your medallion the other day I reminded everyone you don't have to order your medallion way far out especially if you don't have a package and you might want to add one later because if you pay that ten dollars for medallion shipping it's going to be really 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 hard to ever get that back i'm not hearing a lot of success with that every once in a while someone tells me they got it back but i'm hearing it's really hard to get it back you're not going to get it back calling princess you're going to have to try to get it back once you're on the ship okay i haven't yeah, so um, just wait until it's closer. They're not going to ship it until 12 to 21 days from your cruise. So um, hang on with that if you want to. So thought that would be helpful for you. Also, um, a quick note that if um, to the first two people who are in a cabin, they have to have the same um, plus or premier package. So if one wants the plus, the other has to get the plus. But the third and fourth people don't. And there's a couple of things that can be shared. All right. So um, you can share if you have like the four device that comes with a premier package, you can share that um, with anyone else in your cabin. You can also share if you have the plus package just with one device per person. You can't be logged in at the same time. You would have to be logged out and then they would be able to use it. Gordon and I used to do that if we just bought um, one device between the two of us. One of us would have to only use it at a time. So you can share that. It says that you can also share um, the digital portion of the Princess Photo Package. So if you are in your cabin there and you are traveling with your children, you can go ahead and have um, them in the photos with you as well and enjoy that. And then finally, it says you can share the Princess Theater seating. I'm sure you're going to have to be there with them um, when the, the people who have the package are going to have to, the Premier package are going to have to be there with the people who don't, who are in their cabin. If you are just traveling with other people and they don't have the Premier package and you do, but they're in another cabin, then they can't sit in the reserve section with you in the main dining room. Okay. And then, um, Finally, um, you if you get on board and it suddenly hits you that you wish you had that Plus or Premier package, you can go ahead and add it. Um, clear up through the second day of your cruise. You just go to customer service or talk to one of those people standing at the table there advertising it and you can go ahead and add it. If you want to do it before though, I would always do it before because then you get your medallion shipping and it's ready to use the moment you get on the ship. Okay, then you can go right there and get a drink, start enjoying yourself. Okay, now the next thing that I wanted to let you know really quick, I want to talk about the beverage packages because I think that more people than ever are going to be looking at whether or not they're going to get a plus or premier package. So I want to tell you super fast what is definitely included in those packages. So um, Princess, the main things to think about with this is what's included in the plus package, what's included in the premier package. And I also want to talk to you what all about that zero proof package because um, I'm not sure it's worth it. So first of all, with the plus package, you get beer, spirits, wines by the glass, and cocktails up to $15 each, and you get 15 of them in a 24-hour period. That's from six in the morning to six in the morning the next day, okay? And um, in addition to that, if you order a drink like that's $18, you just pay $3. It covers it up to 15. You also get all the non-alcoholic beverages, including bottled water, fountain soda, the new juice bar that they've got. You also get all of your specialty coffees and teas, frappes, coffees at coffees and cones, and the milkshakes if they've got them, and the Red Bull energy drinks. And when you, um, 
and, and the 18% gratuity is included in the package. When you buy a package for 60 bucks a day, that includes the gratuities. You don't add the gratuities onto it. It's already there, and every drink you get is included. There's not a separate charge for a gratuity every time you get a drink. It's all included. And then in addition to that, you can get 25% off of like your bottles of water um, that are the really big, like one and a half liter bottles, 25% um, off of bottles of wine, and um, your bottled juices if you're someone that likes bottled juices. The the difference of um, what's included in the premier package along with that is instead of the drinks being covered up to $15 per person, they're covered up to $20 a person. You still get 15 of them in a 12 hour period, I'm sorry, 24 hour period. And so kind of really go through your mind what you're going to drink, how much it's likely to cost to help you decide about that as well. But um, the as far as that zero alcohol package goes, I'm sorry, it's called Zero Proof on Celebrity. On Princess, it is Zero Alcohol Package. That one, you're going to get your fountain soda by the glass, fruit juices, specialty coffees and teas, your frappes, milkshakes, and your Red Bull energy drinks. So that package costs $29.99 per day. And then you've got to add on that 18% gratuity because that's not included in that. So the total per day is $35.29. No, 39. So the total per day is $35.39. When you think about the plus package being $60 per day, um, you add on your $16 to that $35.39, and that brings you up to $51.39. So the $16 gratuities would be for the interior, the ocean view, and the suite. So if you're in a mini suite, it's 17. If you're in a suite, it's 18 think of it that way, but you have $8.61 left, and that includes a whole lot more. So if you are going to want to have your couple of casual dinings or have your medallion shipped to you, like add all of that stuff in and decide if it's worth it for you or not, because just buying that and paying for all of that other stuff, as well as your gratuities, you're going to spend more than you would just getting the plus package. So keep that in mind. They don't have a plus or a premier package that costs any less if you don't drink alcohol. Um, and I would be surprised if I, we ever see that. I think it would be a really good option since we don't drink alcohol, but I don't know that that will come. I think that they um, are just happy when people buy these packages. So hopefully that will help you out as well. Another reminder is with those photo packages, you get all the digital prints plus you get um, three of them actually printed out, eight by tens, as part of that package. So you can either download all of the photos from your app or you can go to the photo place and have them transfer all of your photos over onto a thumb drive. Definitely do that. I have heard from too many people that say that through the app it didn't finish downloading until they were off the ship and then you can't access those photos anymore or not all the photos were there in the app correctly to be able to download them all. Just go to the photo center there on board the ship. They're really nice and have them put them on a thumb drive for you so that you're sure not to miss any of them. Um, Let's see, finally, I wanna tell you what's included in the juice bar. So at the juice bar, you can get four different mixes of juices, and you can get two power shots of ginger and turmeric is what they're including. And so you can get the antioxidant, which is fruit only, a cleansing one, which is vegetables only, immunity, which is fruit and vegetables, or an energy boost. Those are what they have got there in the juice bar that is now included in those packages. So you can decide if you want to um, enjoy that or not. So really quickly, um, I wanted to um, have a quick discussion here with you that I think is really important because I have like gone in a circle and circled back again ever since these anou this announcement has come out from Princess. On Thursday morning, as I read the, the press release, I thought, uh-oh, this isn't good. And then I listened to the webinar and I was not a fan. And I'm, st I'm still not a fan. I am never a fan of price increases. Be clear about that. Um, but I have really had to come full circle and decide how it's going to affect me, how it's going to affect my cruising, and what really matters to me. So a couple of things. So first of all, um, I can decide that I'm not going to cruise with Princess anymore. I could decide that I am going to get on the ship and I am never going to pay that medallion fee. I am never going to pay to <laughs> update my act and just forget it. I am not going to pay for any of the Alfredo's food and I'm not going to pay for any of the $5 for room service. And I can stand on a hill because I think it's ridiculous they're charging for that now because they didn't used to. 
And you know what? If I do that, the only person it hurts is me. If I really don't want those things, then it's no big deal. But if I want one of those things, but I just stand there thinking I'm standing on principle, the only one who is sad about it is me. No one else cares period. Nobody else cares. Um, Gordon would try to talk me into it if he knew it made me sad, but nobody else cares. And so kind of keep that in mind and don't die on some hill that nobody cares that you're dying on, okay? And then it makes you sad to die on that hill. Keep that clear. Keep the first things first. The other thing that I have really had to think about with this, and I have really done a lot of looking the last couple of days, I don't see one of the big cruise lines that offers room service for free. I don't. I don't see um, another cruise line that has the price of a package that includes everything that Princess does for such for for as low a price as Princess has it. I don't. The only thing that I still think is um, like like what's that fourteen ninety nine charge to use the app? But anyway. Um, I can't find another really good option for me, and I really enjoy the princess experience. The experience that I enjoy next to that would be celebrity, and truly, you have just got to keep an eye on sales. You can find fabulous, absolutely fabulous deals to go on celebrity, and you should, because it's that wonderful. But unless they have a great deal going, it always costs more than princess does. And so, keep an eye um, and really kind of analyze where you're going and what you'll enjoy the most. If you don't want to cruise on Princess anymore, that's great. Choose someone else to go on, but just be aware that on Celebrity, their room service costs a whole lot more. Um, their drink packages cost more. Um, just everything. And so just kind of keep that in mind. If you're someone that doesn't want to pay $5 for room service on Princess, you're going to have to pay for room service on someone else. The only lines that don't have the charge for that are like your luxury lines. They don't charge for that, but their price point is higher than what it is for these larger cruise lines. So just keep all that in mind. I've had to really analyze this a lot in my mind, and I don't want to give up the things that I love about cruising just because I am upset about an added charge for something they didn't used to charge for. So as you are considering what your travel um, is going to be, keep that in mind. I thought yesterday about how, you know, when they added baggage fees to um, airlines, we didn't stop flying. Remember when everywhere you went, you always got a meal um, on your flight and you always got snacks and you always got the drink, all of that together. Well, now you're lucky if you get a snack and a drink. And um, But we didn't stop flying. I'm not going to stay home because of that. And so really stand back and look at where you stand and what you're willing to part with and what you're not willing to part with. I'm going to keep cruising. I know that because of the models of how so many um, places in the travel industry are pricing things right now, everybody is adding extra charges. You go to a resort, there are so many extra charges. You go to lots of other places, lots of charges. And so you just kind of have to decide if you're going to go with it or not. And I've had to realize that myself. So I hope that something that I said helped you. Um, I really appreciate all of you have given so many thoughtful comments. It helps me and I know it helps other people. So put your comments down there today, like what you're thinking now we're a couple of days out from these changes. I'm still not crazy about price increases or pricing for things that we used to get for free. But in the long run, um, we've just got to decide what we're going to do. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you've appreciated my video, please give a thumbs up. I'm looking forward to your comments and I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.